<laughs> Nothing oh, like that. No. <laughs> right, hey. right, right, right. <laughs> this week, we celebrated National Microwave Oven Day. So today, we kind of decided to talk about this one thing that we all use so much now. I don't know what our lives would be like without microwave ovens. Let's find out five things about microwave ovens, and I'm sure a couple things you probably did not know. Here we go. First thing, how did it start? It's all based around a chocolate accident, all right? Let me take you back to the year of 1945. Raytheon is a company, and they had an executive there named Percy Spencer, all right? So Percy was actually working on this thing called magnetrons that are actually used to emit microwave uh, radiation waves. So he was testing it in another machine, but he was standing there with a candy bar in his pocket, and he noticed that the candy bar was melting. So then he tried testing other foods, including popcorn kernels, which we'll get to a little bit later on, and they realized that the microwaves could be used to heat up food. That's 1945, all right? Let's jump. Let's go now to 1964. So 1964, the folks over there at Raytheon, they purchased a mount of refrigeration, all right, and they start to figure out how can we make this thing for other people. So they came up with this concept, all right, and by the time they got to 1967, they actually had an, uh, uh, an appliance that was approved for homes, 100 watts, or 100 volts, excuse me, and it was $500 for the microwave to come home to you in 1967. And then, what did it do for us? Man, it made us all popcorn crazy. So there's a Minnesota-based company called Golden Valley. They came up with the very first kind of popcorn concept, but it had, it had dairy in it. What? So it had to be refrigerated. Nobody wanted that. No one wanted that. So three years later, that was what's called Act One. Three years later, they came with another microwave popcorn called Act Two. That's why. Get that out of here. has caught on. And to this day, Americans have consumed 13 billion quarts <laughs> of microwave popcorn. Oh my gosh. Now you've heard you can use it for other things, right? I do it all yes. the time. Did I you did know, this. and if you don't know, here's your news, it can clean a sponge. Back in 2006, they did a study and they put that sponge in the microwave for two minutes and found that it killed 99% of the bacteria, including mm -hmm. foodborne illness, illnesses like E. coli. Wow. All killed. You put that uh, sponge in the microwave for about two minutes and all those germs are gone. And the last thing I want to tell you about the microwave, a lot of folks think that they use them on airplanes. No. If you don't like your meal on the airplane, it has nothing to do with a microwave oven. <laughs> they are not allowed to use microwave ovens above 36,000 feet. So what they're using is like a convection oven that's blowing hot air over oh. your food, and that's what's warming up your food on the plane. They're not allowed to use a microwave oven, so don't yell at them for using a microwave <laughs> on a plane. They'll yell at you and say, you don't know what you're talking about. Those are five things about microwave ovens that I found to be very interesting. In fact, there are more. Tidbits you'll love. Go to GoodDaySacramento.com. Click on Show Info for today's date. And man up for knowing exactly how your food is being warmed up. Good day continues after this. Without.